Season 1 of Vikings Valhalla will premiere on Netflix in February 2022. But what can we hope to see from the Vikings spin-off? Here's the most current information on Vikings Valhalla Season 1, including a release date, behind-the-scenes moments, the first teaser video, and a cast breakdown. So stay tuned, because we've got all the details for you. First look at the spin-off series. Vikings Valhalla is a spin-off of the popular History Channel series Vikings, developed by Michael Hurst. The series will be produced by MGM Productions, much like its predecessor, and as we've learned, the show was granted a huge number of episodes straight away. It'll be at least three seasons long, with a total of 24 episodes scheduled, according to some sources. Hearst discussed how the new series may be comparable to Vikings, in terms of grandeur and scope, as well as how the world has evolved in the sequel. He stated that the scale of the film couldn't possibly be larger than the last few episodes of Vikings, but that some crucial locations, such as Kattegat, would be vastly different. The spiritual hub of the Vikings will now be bigger, serving as a major port, and the Vikings have taken over most of England, so their power and role have majorly changed. Jeb Stewart is on board to write, and he is best known for his work on films such as The Fugitive from 1993, Die Hard from 1988, and The Liberator for Netflix. Next, we have Behind the Scenes. Netflix has provided a behind-the-scenes peek at the upcoming sequel series Vikings Valhalla as part of Geeked Week. While this trailer doesn't reveal much about the plot of the series, it does demonstrate the scope of what to expect in Valhalla. Massive Viking ships, large battles, and glimpses of how this planet comes together are all seen in this clip. Even more than that, the hard work put into bringing this universe to life, including everything from storyboards to actors getting their makeup done is shown. On June 7th, 2021, the first trailer for Vikings Valhalla was released as part of Netflix's Geeked Week. Then, at Netflix's To Dumb event, the lid was lifted, revealing a slew of new images and a new trailer. The new trailer was accompanied by the caption, Now is our time to make history. A new era of warriors will rise in Vikings Valhalla, coming to Netflix in 2022. Along with the first look trailer, we got three high-resolution first look images. On January 18th, 2022, the first teaser trailer for Vikings Valhalla was released, with the caption, London Bridge is falling down. Vikings Valhalla reaches a new bloody breaking point February 25th, 2022 on Netflix. Let's take a look at the plot of Vikings Valhalla. The end of the Viking period approaches, as the Kingdom of England stands firm against its Scandinavian enemies, set more than 100 years after the events of Vikings. Following the death of King Edward, the Confessor, three lords lay claim to the English throne, forever altering England's future. Hearst explained how Valhalla would be tied to the original Vikings in a recent interview, stating that we will see some of the same locations, such as Kattegat, how the two shows will connect. Once the new spin-off comes on Netflix, it's reasonable to assume that all of your favorite Viking characters will be dead, and hopefully hanging out with Odin in Valhalla. That isn't to say that Ragnar, Lagertha, Bjorn, and Ivar won't have an influence on the plot in the future. We may expect to discover more about how the Vikings' prior exploits will affect the lives of these new individuals, because legacy has always been a big part of their culture. The lineage appears to be continuing as well. Remember how Ragnar's brother Rollo abandoned his people and beliefs to ascend to the throne as Normandy's first ruler? Well, Vikings Valhalla will feature William the Conqueror, Rollo's great-great-great-grandson, which has spurred rumors regarding Standen's likely comeback to the role. While history claims Eric the Red was the first Viking to find North America, Uba, Ragnar's third son, did so in the last season of Vikings, setting up a plot point for the new show. Now, we have the cast of the new show. Deadline revealed 10 main and recurring cast members of Vikings Valhalla, along with their role descriptions in January 2021. A Greenlander raised on the outskirts of the known world, Leif Erikson, will be played by Sam Corlett of Chilling Adventures of Sabrina. He comes from a close-knit family steeped in ancient pagan beliefs. Leif, an intrepid sailor and physically tough character, is our entry point into a Viking world undergoing violent change. Frida Gustafsson from The Witcher is Freydis Eric's daughter, a fiercely pagan, fiery, and headstrong character. She is a devout follower of the old gods. She, like her brother Leif, arrives in Kattegat as an outsider, but becomes an inspiration to those who adhere to the old ways. Frida, as you may recall, was one of the cast members we revealed earlier. Leo Suter, the Liberator, plays Harold Sergudson. Harold, born into Viking nobility, is one of the last Viking berserkers. He's charismatic, ambitious, and attractive, and capable of uniting both Odinists and Christians. King Canute is played by Bradley Freeguard of Keeping the Faith, who's the King of Denmark. A sage, astute, and ruthless Viking leader, he keeps his friend close and his enemies even closer. His ambitions will shape the course of history in the 
11th century, and he'll be remembered as a defining figure of the Viking Age. Now, some more on the cast. Johannes Hawker Johannesson of Kirst plays Olaf Haraldsson. Harald's older half-brother is Olaf, who is a stern and unforgiving Viking, despite his enormous size and ambition. Olaf's a Christian who believes in the Old Testament. Emma of Normandy is a young, ambitious woman from the Norman court with Viking ancestors, who's played by Laura Berlin, breaking even. She's politically astute and one of Europe's wealthiest women. She's most likely a reincarnation of Rollo from the original Viking series. David Oakes of the Borgias plays the character Earl Godwin. He's the king of England's chief counselor, and while he was born on the political periphery, his cunning gets him far. David was one of several cast members revealed in recent months. Caroline Henderson, Christmas star, is another actress who plays Jarl Haken. Haken, a great warrior and tolerant ruler, rules Kattegat with a firm hand. Despite being a pagan, she managed to keep Kattegat a city open to all faiths during a difficult time. Freydis, who is drawn to her wisdom, will see her as a strong mentor to learn from. Pollyanna McIntosh of The Walking Dead reprises her role as Queen Alfgafu. Queen Alfgafu of Denmark, calculating and ambitious, has a role to play in Northern Europe's political power struggles. She employs her charm and guile to great effect in promoting the interests of her Mercian homeland and attempting to assert herself in Canute's growing power structure. Jarl Cray, as Bjorn Krag Nissen, Bronn, is a danger to the ancient pagan ways. Is there anyone from the original cast of Vikings? According to his agency CV, John Cavanaugh will be the first and most notable actor from Vikings to appear in Valhalla. He played the ancient seer for all six seasons of Vikings and later appeared in some characters' visions. We expect him to appear in Valhalla visions as well. Karen Connell, Bosco Hogan, and Gavin O'Connor Duffy are among the other Vikings cast members who will appear in Valhalla. Connell played the Angel of Death in Vikings, so we expect her to reprise that role, while Hogan and Duffy will play entirely new characters. They appeared in Vikings as Abbot of Lindisfarne and King Frodo, respectively. Who else is involved in Vikings Valhalla? Aside from the cast, we know of a few other crew members who are working on the show. Steve St. Ledger is currently set on directing three episodes of the first season. He has directed a number of episodes in both the main Viking series and Netflix's Barbarians. A BAFTA winning Danish director, Niels Arden Oplev, is also set to direct one or more episodes of Valhalla's first season. Hannah Quinn has also been confirmed as one of the directors for Vikings Valhalla's first season. Her most recent works include Fate, The Winx Saga, and The Stranger, both of which are available on Netflix. Trevor Morris, who was the composer for much of Vikings Season 6, will return for Valhalla. Other films in which he's appeared include The Tudors and Hunter Killer. Where did filming for Valhalla take place? So, pre-production has already begun, and the location is one that Vikings fans will recognize. Ashford Studios in Wicklow, Ireland. This is the same location where the first season of the flagship show was filmed. In addition, after the final season of Vikings wrapped in 2019, Ashford Studios received permissions for a 90 million euro expansion, allowing them to build five new studios and support space. This will almost certainly have an impact on the production quality of Vikings Valhalla. Because the main production hub for Valhalla is the same, we can expect to see many familiar external Irish locations that are just nearby. Many of the same people will also be working on the Vikings spin-off. That's a wrap for this video. See you in the next one.